Hello friends, in today's video we're going to build an amazing line following robot. This robot is designed to follow a predefined path or track completely autonomous, with no need for any remote control or manual input. In simple terms, it's a smart robot that detects the line beneath it and adjusts its movement based on the direction of the track. When you place this robot on a surface with a black line over a white background, it automatically starts to follow the line. As soon as the IR sensor detects the black line, it sends a signal to activate the motors, and when it detects white, it makes a turn ensuring the robot stays on track. This is a compact yet powerful project, ideal for school or college demonstrations. To build this circuit, the PCB I've used in this project is of high quality, well-designed, durable, and ensures smooth performance of the entire setup. So friends, to begin with, we're using one acrylic sheet. Next, we'll take a BO motor as the base for our robot. Acrylic sheets are lightweight, strong, and ideal for DIY electronics or robotics projects, and attach it firmly onto the acrylic base using a hot glue gun. For this build, I've used two BO motors, so now we'll attach the second motor on the opposite side of the sheet using glue in the same way. We'll move on to fixing a 360 degree rotating wheel lead, also known as a caster wheel, to the front side of the acrylic base. This wheel allows the robot to turn smoothly and adds extra stability. Now we'll take two rubber tires and fit them tightly onto the shafts of both BO motors. Ensure they're firmly fixed so that the wheels rotate without slipping. Let's move on to the next step, motor wiring and soldering. We'll begin by carefully connecting wires to the terminals of both BO motors. For a strong and permanent connection, we'll use a soldering iron to solder the wires securely in place. Once the soldering work is complete, double check the connections to ensure they're solid and not loose. After that, we'll apply some hot glue to the back side of the acrylic base. On top of that, we'll fix a cardboard sheet. This will act as a protective layer and provide a clean surface to mount other components. Next, we take a 7.4 volts rechargeable battery, which will power our entire line following robot. To give the setup a more structured look, we'll also attach an additional cardboard piece on the front side. We'll place it neatly onto the chassis and fix it securely so it doesn't move during motion. And another small piece on top of the motors for extra support and wire management. Once the battery is in place and safely mounted, we'll now move on to installing the Arduino board, which I've used two IR sensors here, which will be fixed on the front side of the robot. I carefully mounted both of these sensors using hot glue to ensure they stay firm and properly aligned to detect the path accurately. These IR sensors will play a key role in helping the robot follow a line. Now coming to the motor driver, you can easily buy a ready-made motor driver from the market, but in my case I decided to build one myself at home using some basic electronic components. It's always exciting to make your own custom modules, and it gives more control over the project. This homemade motor driver is then connected to the Arduino Uno. After that, I connected the output pins of both IR sensors to the input pins of the motor driver and the C's output pins to the motor driver output pins. This allows the Arduino to take input from the sensors and drive the motors accordingly. These are all basic yet essential connections, and it's important to make sure everything is wired properly to avoid any errors during operation. Once all the components and wires are securely connected, we move on to the coding part. I connected the Arduino Uno to my laptop using a USB cable. The complete circuit diagram and source code are provided in the video description below, so you can download and use them easily. Without wasting any time, I uploaded the program to the Arduino board, and it was successfully uploaded. So friends, this is how we've completed the major steps of the hardware assembly and the programming part of our line following robot. So friends, that's all for today's video. Hope you enjoyed it and learned something new. We'll meet again in the next video with another cool project. Till then, take care, stay creative, and love you all.